it doesn't matter what your motivation is. It could be to win the trophy at the end of the year, it could be to kick that guy who you don't like. Both those things combined make me a pretty vicious competitor. First time I'd say there's more friction than we've ever had. We were definitely pushing each other. We just want to prove it now that we are a better team. People can't worry about us. An international platform, they can make a name for themselves, but if they make a mistake, that seat is up for grabs. The race for a million dollars. It's no longer really about 50-year-old you know, athletes out there. Nathan Outridge, Tom Slingsby, very big names. Ben Ainsley, massive name. He's bragging rights for the sailors. And if you want to up those bragging rights, you add the biggest prize in sailing. And we learn more and more about developing these 50-foot hydrofoiling catamarans that really turn sailing into a modern, extreme sport. A boat capable of 50 knots. Hold on. It's akin to the sound barrier in sailing. You push too hard, they do bite back. It's gotta be windy, Greeny. It's gotta be cold. It's gotta be fun. Six of these things charging around at, you know, 50 knots. Whoa. <laughs> That's gonna be uh, something to see. Great sailors, world champions, Olympic medalists, but they'd never got their hands on the wheel of an F-50 and they never felt what 50 knots would be like. Yeah, we're gonna make mistakes. We learn from that. How cool is that? We're racing against you know, some of the best sailors in the world. And we're gonna be closer to those guys going forward. I don't want someone as talented as Nathan Outridge picking wind against me because he could very well beat me. There was no like warming up the boat or checking everything. It was just, I need my 50 knots. Suddenly you've got some of the biggest and most talented egos in sailing all going toe to toe. That is the biggest thing in sailing.